that's um that's what I want to get into. I actually want to get into that. And you touched on this the last time we spoke just a little bit briefly about the chakra and the woman being anti clockwise and the man being clockwise. Um, and how if they come together, if they can come together synced in and with open chakras and really complement each other, that's the highest level uh, of, of spiritual consciousness. Uh, so I want to I want to touch on that. But first, uh, for the people listening who don't know or have been confused of uh, or about what a chakra is, uh, I'll give you my take and, and I'll let Phoenix give her take. My understanding is. There's seven main chakras, and a chakra is the bridge that connects our our, our spiritual uh, consciousness to our physical body. And so we take stuff in, we take energy in, positive and negative, and we we uh, 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 precipitate that also, give that back out. It's going in and out, that energy, positive and negative. They can close, uh, they can be reopened. We, we, there's practices to heal them, that type of thing. But from our crown to our foundation, uh, our, our feet, uh, there's there's seven chakras, uh, uh, chakras between that. Uh, last week, Phoenix also, or two weeks ago, Phoenix also touched on being able to heal uh, the the uh, the foundation. I would say the foundation chakra by walking, by connecting. Uh, to nature, walking barefooted, barefoot on the earth, on the surface, on the ground, and and that's one way to open up that chakra and heal it. So, am I on point, Phoenix, or you want to expound on that? Yeah, you're totally on point. You're totally on point. The chakras are uh, the chakra openings. There's seven main ones, but there's we literally essentially can have hundreds of chakras. You've got points. At your elbow, you have points at your shoulder, you know, you have points at your eyes. And, and if you get into EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique, you can see they will tap on other chakras, you know, here, 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 here. You have a lot of them, but your main vortexes, if you want to call them that way, and they have a spin. And what's really interesting is the planet is on a certain orbit and it has this spin. All of our DNA strands they have found have that same spin naturally now when we get out of alignment it's like throwing the whole thing off axis it wobbles that spin becomes shaky it's not a a regular spin so that's when we can actually have the wobble or what we call the reverse spin which causes dis-ease or disease in our body so it's real interesting It, it is it's just intriguing because you know we're actually spirit that have manifested into this physical body, but yet the physical body isn't even solid. Even though we seem to see it as solid, it's really not. We're continually moving and spinning. So when you get into uh, remote viewing, how that works, and we know a lot of the the governments like Russian governments and different Chinese governments have been using this for a long, long time, the remote viewing to protect them from enemies to see what they're doing. And all it is, is you have to get in sync with your the spin of your DNA in sync with the spin of the planet. And you literally can feel that if you pause for a minute, you put your feet on the ground and you really feel. And since I've been a child, I could literally hear the spin of the earth. It has a sound to me. It's like a ohm sound. It, it's, a, it's a spin, especially at night when I would go to bed, I'd always hear that sound. And it's literally the sound of the planet. The sound, the planet makes a sound on its orbit. Yes, I've heard that. So, yes. So, so remote viewing is nothing more than simply because now we're all enclosed in that same spin. We're all on this planet. So we're on the same orbit. Right. And our cells are the same. So technically our consciousnesses can connect at any time. And we do it all the time, not being aware of it. Right. For example, there's times when you might think of your mother. Yes. And you think of your mother and in your mind's eye, you see her in a certain place. You might see her surrounded by certain colors and shapes and just, just vaguely, you're not even consciously hardly thinking that way, but what's actually happening. If you knew where she was at the time, you're seeing exactly where she is. 
And if wow. you even even tap in deeper into her, you're feeling her feelings. Wow. Wow. You know, that, that's interesting. Uh, before I get, forget this point, I want the people to know that between the male and the female, uh, the corresponding chakras are polar opposites, meaning uh, uh, there, there's a receiving and there's a giving chakra or corresponding. So my receiving chakra would be uh, a giving chakra in the female and vice versa. Right. Yes. Right. So is that correct? <laughs> so it is, yeah. and it's beautiful because as you move up the seven chakras, the root chakra is a male chakra. Yeah. The foundation is a male chakra. The the sacral or womb chakra is a female chakra. Then the next chakra, which is your solar plexus, your your energetic core, is a male chakra again. Then your heart chakra is a female chakra. Then you get to the throat chakra again. It's a male chakra. The speaking out. Yes. You get up to the third eye, the visionary, that's a female chakra. So, so they're pinging. It's beautiful. They're pinging, ding, 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 all the way up. That's the, what they call the kundalini. And the kundalini is when, when those are in perfect sync, give and take. It's like, like infinity. It is literally infinity, the way that the chakras move together when you're in sync. So our whole goal, and I think we agree on this, our whole goal is to, to bring information to the people of the earth to heal these things within us so that our chakras are resonating properly so that we can move as a, as a protective force. 